Dear learners today, the focus of my presentation is teacher behavior, development of teaching skills. Let us first try to understand teacher behavior, development of teaching skills. Effective teaching is a complex and dynamic process that involves various teaching skills and behaviors. The development of teaching skills is a critical aspect of a teacher's professional growth as it directly impacts students' learning outcomes and overall classroom experience. Here's a detailed exploration of how teachers can develop their teaching skills. 1. Self-reflection Why it's important, self-reflection is the foundation of skill development. Teachers need to critically assess their strengths, weaknesses, and teaching practices. How to do it? Regularly review your lessons, consider student feedback, and think about what worked and what didn't. Identify areas where improvement is needed and set specific goals for development. 2. Continuous learning. Why it's important? Education is constantly evolving. Effective teachers stay updated with the latest research, educational technology, and teaching methodologies. How to do it? Attend workshops, seminars, and online courses. Engage in professional development to acquire new knowledge and teaching strategies. 3. Classroom Management Why it's important Managing a classroom efficiently is crucial for creating a conducive learning environment. How to do it? Learn and apply classroom management strategies to maintain discipline, engage students, and minimize disruptions. 4. Communication Skills Why it's important Effective communication ensures students understand the material and feel comfortable asking questions. How to do it? Work on your clarity, body language, active listening, and feedback delivery. Build rapport with students to create an open and supportive atmosphere. 5. Adaptability Why it's important, each student is unique, and one teaching approach doesn't fit all. Teachers must adapt their methods to meet diverse learning needs. How to do it? Be flexible in your teaching styles, use differentiated instruction, and provide various resources for students with different learning styles. 6. Assessment and Feedback Why it's important? Regular assessments help gauge student progress and guide instruction. How to do it? Create well-designed assessments and provide timely constructive feedback to help students understand their strengths and weaknesses. 7. Technology Integration Why it's important, technology enhances engagement and opens up new teaching possibilities. How to do it? Familiarize yourself with educational technologies and incorporate them into your lessons where relevant. 8. Classroom Engagement Why it's important, Engaging students keeps them motivated and focused on learning. How to do it? Employ active learning strategies, group activities, and discussion-based teaching to encourage participation and interest. 9. Time management. Why it's important? Effective time management ensures that essential topics are covered and prevents rushing through lessons. How to do it? Plan your lessons thoroughly. Allocate time for each activity and stick to your schedule. 10. Empathy and student-centered approach Why it's important, recognizing and addressing the individual needs of students fosters a positive and supportive classroom atmosphere. How to do it? Listen to your students, understand their concerns, and adapt your teaching to accommodate their needs and interests. Thank you don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Education and Teacher Education at Shoking Bilal.